Happy New Year! Welcome to 2022. Kia ora, I'm Helen Brums coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona where today is going to be a high of a very cool 55 degrees which I think is like 11 or 12 degrees centigrade. I can't remember, I'm sorry. But um, yes, it is a very blustery day. We have just gotten back from a walk, um, <laughs> hence the outdoor wear. Um, but I wanted to get on really quick because I'm going to have to go do some work um, shortly. Unfortunately, I got called into work, but that's okay. I actually volunteered when they said what was happening and I said, yep, I can get on and help out. Um, so it is a brand new year. It is Shake It Up Saturday. And I thought, what a great day to have New Year's on. It is the day that you shake up your life. The first, first day of a brand new year. What are you doing today to shake it up? Um, I started the 21 Day Manifestation Challenge this morning. And I will tell you, I have already had my year shaken up. <laughs> We're only on day one. And I'm like, okay, if this is the clarity I get on day one, what are the next 20 days going to bring? <laughs> but I, um, there's been a dream of mine for a very, very long time. I'm actually taking action. I've already started taking action on it because it's on my birthday resolutions. So I've started taking action on it. But today, the why behind it became so crystal clear. It blew me away. Um, I have never had such a clear why such a clear visual image before about something so I'm on the right path for this um, to make this particular um, dream a reality um, so it's this year so it is going to be amazing oh I can barely stand it so that was my big shake up for the day on day one of a brand new year um, and then I'll, and um, I've got because I've got to go get online and all that I still got to strip off all the stuff um, yeah, we actually went out for a walk. It is 10.25 Mountain Time right now. Um, we've just got back from our morning walk. Um, I got woken. I went to, we, we managed. In fact, I watched the proposal in honor of Betty White, who passed away yesterday, for those that don't know. Um, an incredible, incredible talent that woman had. And the ability to make people laugh. Oh, my gosh. Um, I am grateful that there are videos and DVDs and recordings of um of the shows and the movies and stuff that she's been in and the interviews that she has done. So we are still able to um, witness that talent that she had. But um, I was reading in a, um, one of the obituaries about it. She'd been in the TV in the TV and film industry for over 80 years. That is the longest running female ever to have had for an actress to have a career. And I thought that is awesome. Um, so I watched the proposal last night. I love that movie. It's so fun. Um, but, um, so I watched that last night in her honor and then I thought, and I looked at the thing and thought, oh, you know, I'm going to watch another movie. Let's see if we can stay awake for another movie. So I don't even remember what the name of the movie was. I sat there and did the jigsaw puzzles while it was kind of background noise and kind of following the story at the same time. Um, and then when it finished, I thought, oh, what time is it? And it was 1158 and all evening since about six o'clock after we got back from our walk, um, We've been hearing gunshots going off, people firing up into the air with rifles. I've heard, I've heard um, shotguns. I heard handguns. I heard rifles all being shot up in the air. Then the fireworks started, and this was going from like 6 o'clock in the evening all the way through to um, around 20 past 12 this morning. And um, that was when I finally got to bed. <laughs> my nightly routine to do um and so i actually turned off my alarm clock see i even have my little sticky here that says the alarm clock's off um because i don't want to oversleep on a weekday when i have to work um and uh so i had that turned off and i got woken up by a sudden downpouring and i looked at the clock it was 2 46 and i'm like oh really so and then i suddenly realized the heat is on huh, why is the heat on? Because I pumped it up to 65 when I got up yesterday morning, but I forgot to turn it back down to 58 because the heat comes on at night when it's at 58 degrees. We're snuggled up in bed, we're comfy, we're cozy, we're just keeping the chill out of the air. And um, so I got up, turned that down, went to the bathroom, got back to bed, woke up at 7.17 this morning. Um, Zephy was snuggled down on her thing, so I threw a blanket over top of her. She didn't even move. I came out here. I had my, my time to myself this morning 
um, my sacred time in the mornings and, uh, and also got completed my day one of the manifestation challenge. And um, then Zephy appeared. And so, <laughs> yeah, she appeared and then was like, can we go for a walk? And I was like, yeah, uh, yeah, I got to take a shower first. And she just sort of like looks at me and I'm like, okay, we're not taking a shower right now. And then I said, I remembered, oh, I forgot to fill up the water tank yesterday. So I can't take a shower until I fill up the water tank. So when I go out to wrap the pipes, because we have exposed pipes that bring the water where the hose is connected, um, we being the annual residents are responsible for wrapping those pipes and old towels for the night because tonight's meant to be 32 degrees tomorrow night's like 34 and monday is 37 i that was when i last checked it could have dropped again um so they've um in the news they said we need you to wrap your pipes and so I've, i'm sort of like thinking what well, can i wrap my pipes so i've got to go out there and have a look see how much pipe i have to wrap and then come back and see what i've got i mean i've got some old face cloths i could probably use with that because they said just wrap some old towels around it and um i thought yeah We'll see what I what I have that I can use and um, get them wrapped, get the water tank filled. Um, because usually when we get down to freezing temperatures, what I have done at campgrounds that I've been staying at in the past is I've filled up the water tank, then unhooked the hose, drained it, and put it into storage. Um, so I'm not actually physically hooked um, to the water because my hose is not heat, a heated hose. You can get heated hoses that will stop the, um, the water inside the hoses from freezing. And um, so I thought, well, I'll just coil up the hose, put it in the cabinets for overnight and stuff. If I've got a full water tank, it's like 80, 80 gallons. Um, that should see me through to, um, that'll definitely see me through to Monday. So um, that's what we're probably going to, well, it's just for overnight anyway. And um, I don't know if I want the hassle of having to go out and hook it up in the morning <laughs> just to take it off again at night. So um, this weekend we'll be, um, once I go out and do that, um, we'll be running off the tank water um, for, let's see, if I get it done late afternoon, we'll be running off the tank water from late this afternoon through to probably Monday morning, we'll go out and hook the water hose back up because by then we're out of the freezing temperatures. So um, yeah, I've got plenty of water in there. And if I need to fill it up during the day, I can just go hook up the hose and fill it up. So that's not a big problem. Um, so yeah, so that's what's on my plate today. So I got to go. I got to go and help some people. Have a super fantastic, sparkling New Year's Day. Go out, shake it up somehow. Um, what is one of your favorite New Year Day memories? Um, I'm just sort of like, those are the, that's the one day of the year where all the alarm clocks get turned off, all the blackout curtains go up, and I sleep till I sleep. I sleep till I wake up. Um, most mornings, it's usually around five or six in the morning, but it depends what time I went to bed. I usually get about six hours five to six hours sleep a night so today i got a little more about well, 7 17 take off that 20 minutes i got about seven hours sleep so i thought that's not too bad um that's probably the most i have slept in a very long time <laughs> obviously the body needed it so i'm not complaining anyway go out have a super fantastic sparkling um new year's day enjoy the day stay warm stay dry stay safe and we'll catch you guys back here around 6 p.m mountain time this evening hey konera